It's not about coming out of lockdown looking like Sherman Clump, you know. <laughs> I keep telling my friends, you have to stay active. <laughs> They're like, nah, Kyle, I'm, I'm naturally fit in it. <laughs> well, naturally fit or not, you you got to be consistent. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. Go on, top goal scorer last season, you know. 35 goals. I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> well, that's if there is a next season. This whole COVID business has mashed everything up. So, so lock down this and, and lock down that. Social distances, two meters, that. It's mad because at the beginning, everyone was like, well, not everyone, but most of my people were loving it. No school, no, no college, getting paid eighty percent of your wage to chill. <laughs> it's mad. And even some of my friends were like, what, no church? Yes! <laughs> I said, nah, 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 you're bad for that one still. You're bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm, a, I'm the kind of person that needs to be out and about. You know, busy, working, playing football, <laughs> meeting people. My girlfriend says, uh, your busyness will be your downfall. <laughs> it's just me, innit? So when Boris Johnson started calling the shots and enforcing this non-essential travel and, and one hour of exercise a day rubbish, it killed me. Like, <laughs> I'm an impatient person as well, so when I'm having to queue up outside Tesco, like, let's like say it's a theme park and I'm waiting to go on a roller coaster, it actually killed me. <laughs> Yeah, um, I say that, but <laughs> that's just me being selfish, isn't it? People have died from this thing. <laughs> My best friend's uncle died. Yeah. It's mad because it's, it's like one month he, he was at a cup final on the sideline swearing at the ref. The next thing you know, he's on his deathbed. It's deep. Yeah. Rest in peace to all those that are, that are no longer with us because of COVID. It's like it come out of nowhere as well. Yo, <laughs> I'm not even going to get started on all this conspiracy theories and that. I'd like to think I'm a, well, what's the word, uh, is it resilient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally I'm, I'm quite a resilient person, you know, but the deeper we got into lockdown, it just affected me differently, man. Like, I don't think I've been depressed before, but I know for a fact for about two weeks, uh, it just wasn't right. Even my mum noticed it. If it wasn't for her, she just being helpful and and just positive around me. I don't know where I'd be now. Thank God for mums, innit? Yeah, and dads too, but but mums just have that, that calming way about them. They always know what to say. Dads are just like, oh, well, just toughen up. Stop crying. <laughs> Be a man. Well, that's what my dad's like anyway. I love him, but it's just old school. <sighs> mm. And then there's this whole Black Lives Matter situation. I think, I think that's what nearly sent me over the edge. You know, when your mental health's not right, 
It's no joke, you know. Not only did we have to deal with COVID, but life decided to throw in the public execution of a black man into the pot as well. I watched the George Floyd video a few times. Don't know why, it's just... Or maybe it was all the hype surrounding it. But the hardest thing was... It was the backlash and, and everything that happened after. It's like you finally got to see the world for what it truly is. Look, look don't get it twisted. There's, there's a lot of things I love about this big moving ball that we all have to live on. But there's things like different cultures and, and, and people and, and sports and travel and charitable organisations. But there's a lot of things that I hate. And racism is definitely one of them. Look, I'm mixed race and I've definitely had my fair share of being called names here and there. But, but do you know what, what got to me the most? It was the exposure of these, these covert racists on social media. I had to come off it for a good few weeks, you know. Like, all lives matter this and, and all lives matter that. <laughs> Come on, just give us a break. We know all lives matter. But don't you see what's happening? And why we're saying black lives matter? Well, but you're not even black. You're half cast. You're half white. So, so why are you getting involved, Kyle? <laughs> Firstly, don't ever call me half cast. And don't call me half white. I'm mixed race, which means my mum's white and my dad's black. So a large part of my family is black. And when I'm getting stopped and searched by the feds for no reason, they don't see the white side of me. So don't you dare try try tell me what I should be fighting for. And then then there's this guy that I went to school with, <laughs> coming out with a foolish statement. Well, well, Black Lives Matter is racist. <laughs> it, it stresses me out just thinking about it. And you see, those, those are just a few examples. I know there are people that look like me and my dad all over the world going through the same thing. You know, do yourself a favour and just... Dad, yeah, I'm at the park, uh, just training, but I told mama I was here, <laughs> well obviously she forgot, what, oh. I'm not sure, maybe an hour, But dad, well dad, can't Reese do it? I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't finished training yet. Dad. Okay, all right. All right, just, just give me 20 minutes or something. All right, bye. This is why I can't wait to leave home. I love my family, it's just... <laughs> One thing lockdown taught me is, is that sometimes I need my own space. Hmm? Even family can become a bit much sometimes. That's why I just love coming here with my own thoughts, playing football, Getting fit and, and dreaming. I used to dream about playing for England. <laughs> That's past now. Ain't gonna happen. 
but I can still help the dreams of future young ballers, set up academy, get get the business tight, you know, like best coaching, training and, and, and mentoring. <laughs> yeah, man, that is the dream, blood. Despite everything negative that's happened this year, I feel at peace with myself still. It's been a tough few months, but it's taught me the importance of looking after yourself and those who love you. And I know my family get on my nerves, but so do my friends and my girlfriend. So while I'm young, fresh and alive, I'm going to do all I can to love them the best I can. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds sappy, but, you know, live, laugh, love, innit? <laughs> Why oh, is my dad again? I'm off.